Hi, I'm Bob Cronk, Vice President of Development for the Karst Waters Institute. As you may know, the mission of the KWI is to improve the understanding of karst water systems through scientific research and education. One of the initiatives of which I'm most proud is the administration of the William L. Wilson Scholarship for Karst Science. This award, given annually, depends upon generous contributions from friends of the KWI. Bill Wilson used a variety of techniques and unusual creativity to tackle some of the most difficult car science questions in Florida and elsewhere. He was a nationally recognized expert in the evaluation of sinkhole development hazards, the interpretation of ground penetrating radar and karst terrain, and contaminant transport through cave networks. He developed the leading karst consulting company in the United States, Subsurface Evaluations Incorporated. SEI and the KWI have established a scholarship in his memory. As Diane Wilson has stated, the goal of the scholarship is to attract and support new karst scientists to continue the research Bill so deeply loved. Melissa Hendrickson, the award winner in 2006, completed her master's in the Geosciences Department of Western Kentucky University. Her research studied the influence of organic acid on limestone dissolution in the Tongass National Forest of Southeast Alaska. The Tongass is underlain by extensive areas of carbonate bedrock, including many areas of the northern portion of Prince of Wales Island. The peatlands in the Tongass drain acidic waters into the carbonate rock, creating the potential for the highest recorded dissolution for a natural karst system. This results in a unique and spectacular karst environment. Jason Simeon was the award winner in 2004. He completed his graduate studies at the State University of New York at Oneonta. His research in McPhail's Cave and Schoharie Caverns, among others, demonstrated new methods of dye tracing and isotopic analysis of karst aquifers. Lindsay McCullough Walker, the Wilson Scholar for 2005, completed her Bachelor of Science in Geology at Wittenberg University in 2003 and her Master's in Geosciences at Mississippi State University in 2006. Her research documented the presence and locations of the karst features of Abaco Island in the Bahamas. Megan Curry is currently a master's student at New Mexico Tech. Her thesis takes a geomicrobiological and geochemical approach to the biogenicity of moon milk formation in caves of New Mexico, Colorado, and Alaska. Moon milk is unique compared to other speleothems due to its biological content. The exact origin of moon milk remains under study. So as you can see, the Wilson Scholarship provides important support to these young karst scientists. But it can continue only with your support. So I'm asking you this to help the KWI continue to fund this scholarship. It can make such an important difference to these students. Tax-deductible contributions can be made through the KWI website at karstwaters.org or to any KWI member. Thank you so much for your support.